These are 10 things Ronaldo owns that cost more in your life. And first up is $800,000 purchase that literally set a world record. While playing for Juventus, Ronaldo got the bag of a lifetime $117 million deal. So he just had to buy something crazy. And that's why he hit up his jeweler and copped the most expensive watch in Rolex history. A 500k GMT Master Ice Rolly, completely covered in baguette cut and honeycomb diamonds. He damn near made his diamond ring and wedding band in comparison look like ring pops. But listen, $800,000 on one hand are literally the cheapest things in this video. What if I told you Ronaldo owns something so expensive, it literally needs 24-7 security and a museum. In 2017, Ronaldo was well on his way to winning back-to-back -back Ballon d'Ors. And in celebration, designer Daniel decided to create something special. He knew Ronaldo just opened up his very own CR7 museum, so he created something one of one. Customized CR7 Nike cleats. And would it really be Ronaldo's if they weren't icier in a glacier? The cleats were designed to be exclusive. And the only other athletes I've heard of with diamonds on their feet are LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, who's just like Ronaldo's were completely covered in diamonds, and those cost four mil. But just look at the difference. D Wade's don't got shit on Ronaldo's cleats, man. There's a reason they refuse to make Ronaldo's price public. Cause he's a rare human being. And that's why Ronaldo's the only athlete in the world spending millions to literally save his fans' lives. Right after Ronaldo won his third Ballon d'Or, it should have been one of the proudest moments of his life. But that's when he found out some disturbing news. One of his biggest fans was suffering from a rare brain disorder. And Ronaldo's a man of the people. So he sent the family $100,000 for the boy's surgery. And that donation literally saved the boy's life. Once the story became a trending topic, Ronaldo fans found out that he's secretly been saving kids all over the world. And just a few years later, Ronaldo even decided to auction off all five of his Ballon d'Ors to donate his earnings to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and save kids with terminal illnesses. Combining the surgeries he's paid for and each Ballon d'Or selling for around 700k, he spent around three and a half million just taking care of his fans. And it's all been covered up by the hundreds of millions he spent on things like these. But before we get to those, first, we gotta talk about the girl that's cost Ronaldo four million. Cause lately he's been making around $500,000 a week after taxes. And he's realized that's way too much money to be iced out alone. His girl Georgina stuck alongside him through everything, and they've even started a family. So Ronaldo decided it's time to bless her. After he caught her commenting on an Instagram post from Cartier, right then and there he knew the perfect gift to pop the question. This diamond ring is the most expensive engagement ring of any football player ever. $872,000. And Georgina was so happy, right when she got it, she had to drop a post revealing the masterpiece. And uh, I'm sure behind the scenes, she's been paying Ronaldo back big. Cause lately, Georgina's been spotted rocking $60,000 Patek Philippe's, $50,000 diamond bracelets, and here in 2021, Ronaldo bought her $140,000 custom Louis Vuitton jewelry trunk that's literally bigger than their kids. Georgina's entire jewelry collection is worth around $4 million. So it's safe to say her days of working cash registers at the Gucci store are long gone. Cause whenever she ain't getting icy, she's getting wet on Ronaldo's $12 million purchase. Back in 2020, right after Ronaldo won his second straight Serie A title, he just had to splash out, literally. And he spent over 12 M's on this. This yacht has five cabins, six bathrooms, a kitchen, bar. I mean, there's a reason Ronaldo and his family take so many vacations. This yacht's damn near a mansion on the water. But when you're making almost $2,000 an hour, you can afford to live like Jesus. And that's why Ronaldo has one of the most expensive car collections of any athlete ever. Growing up, Ronaldo dreamt of being behind the wheel of his favorite cars. So in 2003, right when he went pro, he instantly copped his first car. And and that was the start of a $30 million addiction. Once he started stepping his football game up to a new level, his car collection got ridiculous. Rolls Royces, Lambos, Porsches, Mercedes, Bentleys. I'm not kidding. Ronaldo's made it a tradition to buy at least one new car every single month. And lately, his obsession started making his teammates pissed. In early 2021, Ronaldo decided to skip training for an exclusive Ferrari event. 
He flew to Italy's factory where they dropped something rare for $2 million. And listen, this Ferrari Monza SP1 is so exclusive, you can only buy it if Ferrari lets you. So of course Ronaldo needed one. But there was a problem. His teammates got so mad at him for skipping training, they damn near refused to play. So a few months after, Ronaldo was transferred and decided getting in trouble once just wasn't enough and hit the car dealership again. Ronaldo just signed a $72 million deal and set aside 600 k for some new whips, a Bentley Flying Spur, and a Lamborghini Urus. So right when paparazzi saw Ronaldo in these dashing, they made sure their cameras were flashing. And when Manu's manager saw his addiction of pulling up in new cars and how he was getting so much attention, he literally banned all Manu players from driving any supercars as long as they're on the club. So until Ronaldo's contract's up in two years, his entire $30 million collection is forced to collect dust. So I already know he's mad about his garage's most prized possession, a $19 million, only 10 ever made, Bugatti Shento Dieci. Just look at this thing, man. Literally looks like it could transform and fly away. But 236 miles an hour, uh, it just ain't fast enough for that. Sometimes Ronaldo needs to go 600. And that's literally what led him to setting a world record, making a $60 million purchase. See, Ronaldo constantly has to travel from country to country. And when he found out Messi was flying around in this, Ronaldo just had to do him dirty. $32 million dirty. So he went out and copped the most expensive plane of any football player ever. A custom Gulfstream G650 jet branded with his own CR7 logo. Now other than traveling faster than any car, uh, what other perks come with spending 32 M's? Well on the inside, Wi-Fi, a dining area with microwaves, ovens, a refrigerator, and to make things even crazier, this ain't even Ronaldo's only private jet. He's also copped a Gulfstream G200. But this time, he wanted to save a little money on his rainy day plane, so he spent just 28 million. And Ronaldo's second one put him alongside athletes like Floyd Mayweather and Michael Jordan as some of the only athletes with more than one jet. But see, Ronaldo's used to be in an exclusive category, because right after he signed a billion dollar deal, what he bought cost so many millions, the only people who have one are him and Donald Trump. And now that we're getting into Ronaldo's top three most expensive purchases ever, this is where things actually get crazy. One day when he traveled to San Sebastian for a game against Sociedad, he came up with a gazillion dollar plan. Ronaldo's team pulled up to this hotel, and right when he saw the place, it was love at first sight. But instead of just embracing the experience, Ronaldo was actually inspired. He hit up his boys back home and had them start sketching out designs to create his very own CR7 themed hotels. And not long after, he had them built in Funchal, Lisbon, New York, and Paris. These hotels cost Ronaldo over $40 million each. And if Ronaldo's spending over 40 M's on where his fans stay, just imagine how him and his family live. Well, let me give you a hint. It cost way more than 40 M's. It all started back in 2003 when he got his first career check. See, Ronaldo ain't like people you and I know, living in their mom's basement. Right when Ronaldo got a chance to move out, he did, copping an insane 7,000 square foot mansion. And for it being his first crib, it was pretty crazy. Six bedrooms and bathrooms, a full-size gym, movie theater, indoor swimming pool and a jacuzzi. But with it only being worth four mil, this was just the beginning of Ronaldo's spending problem. Right when he signed with Real Madrid, he decided to upgrade. And well, he gave us a tour. Coming in, this is where I live. Let's go. I love this dog. You know why? Because it's always quiet. Cristiano, play football. We have the, the nets there, it's already there. And we create here the Christmas tree. Because soon. Hold up. Let me wipe off my glasses real quick. Did I just see this man have a basketball hoop, two pools, and an entire football field in his backyard? Man, what the hell am I doing in my life? But listen, this ain't even close to Ronaldo's most expensive home. In 2015, Ronaldo copped his first crib in the US, an $18 million L-shaped apartment in New York's Trump Tower. Yeah, it's only three bedrooms and bathrooms, but throughout the entire property, there's views of literally everything in New York City. But I mean, are we really surprised? We're talking about a man who every single year makes a hundred million dollars. 
and there's one person who's helped him become the man he is today. So Ronaldo wanted to celebrate his agent's big day, making the most expensive purchase of his entire life. In 2015, George Mendez announced that he was finally engaged, and Ronaldo could have just been his best man and called it a day. Uh, yeah, right. He couldn't just get George a car, house, helicopter, or a rocket ship. Ronaldo really went out and spent $50 million for George to have his own island. Jesus Christ. I gotta quit my job and become Ronaldo's full-time friend or something. But listen, $50 million islands, $32 million planes, $19 million Bugattis, none of that compares to Ronaldo's biggest secret addictions, jail time. Next to you joining the NBA, there's a ton you don't know about Ronaldo. And I know you wanna hear more about that. So click this video right here.